USA Today Network, Tennessean journalist Gaetan Ward discusses how his early life in Liberia and his love for reading and writing lead him to his career. Michael Schwab, Erica Whitney slash USA Today Network Tennessee. Gaetan Ward, photo, file photo slash Tennessean, by photo. Gaetan Ward, a tenacious longtime business reporter at the Tennessean and Tennessee State University professor who became a beloved community and church leader in Nashville after immigrating from war-torn Liberia, died Saturday at his Nashville home after a brief illness. Ward was 45. Ward, who joined the Tennessean in 1998 after previously working at the shuttered Nashville banner, was a bulldog of a reporter, most recently on the real estate beat. He was relentless in his craft, more than happy to pester his sources or tick off PR professionals' flax, he called them if it meant landing a scoop. He loved every part of reporting a story, especially when it meant prying information he wasn't supposed to know. Ward resided in southeast Nashville and was active across the city, particularly at his place of worship, Born Again Church on West Trinity Lane, where he was a deacon and frequently posted videos of services on social media. Exceedingly social, Ward rarely turned down an invitation and was typically the last to leave the party. He was known for his unselfishness and generosity, and for going out of his way to help his friends. He was a devoted mentor this year driving the son of single mother to school each morning because he had no other ride. He was just an outstanding individual, who was very faithful to his work and to the ministry, said born-again church pastor Horace Hockett. He had exceptional character. He was a fixture at born-again church. It's just a shock to all of us. It saddens the heart and it saddens the body that it happened so suddenly. Tennessean business writer Gaetan Ward shares his story at the I Am an American Storytelling event Wednesday, June 21, 2017, in Nashville. Photo, George Walker 4 Tennessean.com Ward, who moved to the U.S. in 1991, celebrated his citizenship in 2014 by casting his first vote in an American election on his 42nd birthday. He was proud of his African heritage and often told stories about a childhood in a country where civil war ripped the nation apart. For many years, Ward sent money back to family in Liberia. Gaetan was a rare human being whose strength of character defined him in a way that engendered deep respect from anyone who knew him, including and especially those whom he covered, said Michael A. Anastasi, vice president and editor of the Tennessean. He cared about his craft, and he made sure he got it right, he said. If Gaetan reported it, Nashville's business community knew it to be true. Countless business leaders have told me they had given up on keeping their development projects secret because Gethan would always find out and report it. They figured it was easier to just start calling him up. Inside the newsroom, he was known for his famously disheveled desk overflowing with documents, phone numbers, and clippings. He was just as apt at scouring public records for the latest deeds as he was hounding some of the city's biggest power players for the next big story.